Craig, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? Well, Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation, but at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do, and you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. And for Australia, we've got Daniels. He's out there with Mills. And it's Landale in at the five spot. And Murray, here we go. That one falls. Murray's got the lead up to 11 now for Canada. That tenacity on the drive. Murray is at his absolute best when he's in attack mode. Now, here's Mills. He'll just Alexander cover it. They get it again. Pass it to Landale. On the wing, Daniels. Rocket six. Goes back up. Connects. The jumper drops. Daniels has got seven points. Here's Gilgis Alexander. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Barrett, wide open, he fires off target with his three. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Powered down after the assist, let him into the lane. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Yep, that one goes. Yeah, it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Jamal Murray had to be patient working his way back to peak form after his ACL injury. Luckily for him, hard work is nothing new. He says, I feel like I got better in the time I was out. I don't overthink when it comes to basketball. If you want to let me shoot, let me shoot. I'm just confident in my game like that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, very confident, right, D.A.? Thank you. Now, that's where you like your shots to come from. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Canada. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Green against Barrett. Wide open look here for Murray. Nice open look, but it's no good. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. Clark, and you mentioned this. What you like about Jamal Murray more and more is he's always creating for others. You know, look, sometimes it's a function of who you play with as to how you proceed. I don't think he's ever been selfish, but he wasn't always surrounded by excellent scores. So this guy just wants to win, and he'll do whatever it takes to do so. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he knocks down the first one. To get where you want to go as a team, you need big game players. There's no way around it. And historically, Murray tends to play his best on the biggest stage. And so Murray nails both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Now here's Mills. He's tightly guarded. That shot off the mark. Nice key from Barrett. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Green. Cans the 12-footer. Gilgis Alexander's got 22 points. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Here's Mills. Got a hand on it. And the scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Out to the wing. 
Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the dunk time by Gilgis Alexander. With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Timeout called Australia. Well, it's been an express lane to the Ram. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And here's a look at some numbers for Dyson Daniel. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And here's Mills. He's got eight. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And he has grooved his stroke at the line this season and been able to maintain it with an average of 90%. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. Free throw good, Mills. And both free throws good for Mills. Canada leading by 13. Gilgis Alexander passes to Powell. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Good. Gilgis Alexander's got 26 points. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Outside, Green. Kicks to Mills. This one for three. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Mills has got 13 points. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Misses in close. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. To the middle. Here's Kay. And he drops in the way up off the glass. He's got 12. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Covered by Mills. Murray for three. Australia grabs the miss. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Gets it down to single digits. He does not lack for confidence. I mean, he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Canada leading by eight. Barrett kicks to Murray. Hangs home the trifecta. Murray's got nine points now in the quarter. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Flips it up from 12. No good that time. 
Good D by Gildas Alexander. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Mills with it. He's got 13. And the best to Landale. Shoots over Powell. Rebound Canada. Powell's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Parrott. Takes it inside. That's in there. Murray with the assist. And 12 points for R.J. Barrett. The explosive off the bounce with great body control. Barrett's most effective when going downhill. Timeout called Australia. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Some changes here for Australia. Joe Ingles is checked in for Jock Landale. Josh Giddy comes in for Daniel. And it's Exum in for Patty Mills. Inside, here's Kay. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his third assist on the night. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Outside, Dort. Fires for three, and Canada another three. And the three-point shot wasn't always there for Dort, but he's put in a ton of work on it, and it shows. Exum deciding where to go with it. Passes it to Ingles from the arc, and Australia another three. So hard to challenge these shots. I mean, especially against the better shooters. Canada leading by 13. Alexander Walker passes to Olenek. Buries it down low. Olenek's got his second bucket tonight. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Pass to Kay. To Exum. Steps back and fires. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Brooks. Kept alive over Ingles. And again, Canada. Good for two. And there's a little size to Brooks. Six, seven, and he can get it done against Good D inside. There's Exum. Missed it, even after all those chances. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. Pass to Nemhart. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by Exum. And now the fast break Exum with the ball. Now the pass to Giddy. Stolen by Brooks. Stops. Pops. And again, Canada. Good for two. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Canada. All 
game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steals. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Jordan. Here's Alexander Walker. Now that's how to finish the break. Throwdown with Fox. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. To the middle. Here's Kay. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. He's been unguardable. No misses yet. Keep getting him the ball. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got 12. Outside, Dort. Let's go. No good that time. Australia trails by 19. Now, Giddy. 18 points for him. Shoots it up. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Giddy's got 20 points. And it's Canada. Feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Back right after this. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Dwight Powell is out there with Lou Dort. Then there's Jamal Murray. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Barrett at the small forward position. Here's Mills. Rebound Canada. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Gilgis Alexander passes to Murray. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Josh Giddy. Tracking him a real chore. Murray, very active, constantly on the move. Shooting two. Free throw good, Murray. Anzo Murray nails both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. That's taking care of business, fellas. Here's Landale. Started by Powell. Landale misses. Now, here's Barrett. To the inside. Oh, that's good. And Canada leads by 21. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Mills passes to Andy. Count the basket. Well, you look at Mills and the kind of passer he is now setting up his teammates. Indicative of the kind of work he put into his passing game. 
Pass to Barrett over Daniels. Australia grabs the miss. Giddy's got four rebounds now tonight. Defended by Dort. Rebound Canada. Howell's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Murray outside. Driving the lane. And then Murray with the jam. And you know finishes like this get Murray pumped up. He's a big-time dunker off the drive now. He'll sneak punch you if you're not careful. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam King. And here's Mills. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. From outside, off the mark. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Now, here's Mills. He's guarded close. And, Greg, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement, players in the G League night or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it, it makes sense. If you think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Gil just Alexander passes to Barrett. He dishes it to Powell. 13 feet away. The shot comes out for Australia. They've gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Daniels. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Canada leading by 21. Murray with it. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Up top, Powell. He kicks it to Barrett. A step back shot here. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. The dish to Mills. Floats one up. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And have to admire how hard Barrett goes. This kind of assertiveness is what makes defenders feel uneasy. What do you think of the league's most recent CBA, Greg? That seven-year deal two. just signed. Oh, Kevin, the NBA and Players Association both need to be commended. Labor peace through the rest of the decade. Most pro sports don't have this kind of stability. And that one falls for Barrett. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game, a versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. And so Barrett nails both of them. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for Australia. Mills, Mills, Mills. The nine-foot shot. Nice jump shot. Good. Giddy's got 22 points. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Dort. This is to Barrett. Murray outside. Five to shoot. And it's stolen. And now here comes Daniels. Eating the break. And it's good for two. Daniels has got four points in the quarter. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. 
Outside, Dort. Landale grabs the miss. Australia trails by 21. Here's Giddy. Kicks it to Mills. Pass to Kay. And Australia tacks on two more. Canada leading by 19 points. Pass to Powell. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and in off a pretty assist. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points here in the second half. Giddy against Murray. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. That free throw, no good. So, Clark, we know you're very familiar with the college game. How do you think the one-and-done rule has worked out so far? You know, not as it was intended to, Kevin. I mean, in some ways, the chance to see guys like Durant and others play in college for a year was better than not having them there. But I think it's also created this expectation that if you're not a one-and-done, that you somehow failed, and that's uh, detrimental to the psyche of young players. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander, covered by Mills. Here's Dort. Australia grabs the miss. Giddy's got his fifth rebound in this one. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the layup. Giddy's got five points in the quarter. They've cashed in on a lot of second chance opportunities here in the second half. That extra effort will help them cut into this deficit. Now Dort. And there's the pass to Linick. And Canada, another three. Well, Dort makes the smart play there. He spots a wide open shooter and just gets him the ball. Here's Giddy. Rebound Canada. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Here's Alexander Walker. Here we are looking around the NBA. Greg, it feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year, and that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. Bill. And he uses the glass on the layup. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. It's Dort on the wing. Passes it to Powell. He kicks to Olenek. Gilgis Alexander with it. Fires the three. And Canada, another three. In every season, SGA seems to up his offensive game, which is why he's an all-star caliber talent. Giddy the pass to Kay. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Canada leading by 22. One fifty-seven left to play in the final quarter. Here's Alexander Walker. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for Australia. And he comes up with the deuce. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Alexander Walker. Olenek dishes to Powell. Tries from seven. And again, Canada good for two. 
Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for Canada. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. Especially because they're going to get together three more times this season. You love to get an opponent figured out early when you're going to be seeing them that often. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Shea Gilders Alexander. And, you know, there was no stopping him tonight. Whenever he got the ball, he was looking to score, and rightly so. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. That one misses. Here's Australia. Pass to Giddy. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Free throw good from Giddy. And both free throws good for Giddy. We've got 28 seconds left in the game. Here's Nemhard. To the paint. Here's Wiles. Misses from short range. Now, here's Ingles. Defense is right there. Here's Green. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Dort. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you could hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And the first one drops. He makes one of two that time. Here's Nemhard, and so it's Canada with the win. They poured it on a night, dominant showing in front of the crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one 
for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.